Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing a book that I am going to be highly recommending to everyone who is looking to learn more about Latin America, and that is Open Veins of Latin America by Eduardo Galeano. I hope I'm saying that name right. And so this book basically goes over the colonial history of Latin America and just the ravaging of natural resources that has taken place in these countries. Um, and also, let me just say, so Eduardo Galeano, he was um, from Uruguay. And he was actually exiled after because there was like a, a right wing dictator takeover of Uruguay um, after he wrote this book. And he was exiled because of the contents of it, which I found very interesting and unfortunate. Um, and then also, so the foreword for this book was by Isabel Allende. And it was through her foreword that I actually first learned about um, his name is Salvador Allende. And he is the former president of Chile. He was a democratically elected elected president. And what's significant about him is that he was a socialist. He was the first ever socialist democratically elected in Chile. And he was taken out via military coup that was backed by the United States, which is just a, a whole interesting thing. And so that's just from the forward of this book. Um, and then when you jump into it, you can definitely see right away that um, Galeano has a uh, Marxist leaning. Um, he's, I, I don't think he shies away from that at all. He's very, very left-leaning, very Marxist, probably farther left than even I would consider myself. Um, but I think that it's good that we're getting... Because this is not a history, a perspective on history that you normally get. Um, you don't get this more Marxist perspective on things. And I, I really want people to read this book so that they can have some context. Because this is like... I had always knew that it was not like a lot of things that happened in Latin America that were not good things and that it was a it was a, a bunch of countries that have been through a lot um but this book just cemented it and you just see not only how there was an extreme extraction of natural resources from latin america but how those resources were used to prop up european economies like you had mon like gold and um silver and whatnot that was being taken from latin america and being um you know through spain and used to prop up several economies in europe um, which I found very interesting and something that I definitely hadn't heard of before. Um, and I also would just like to give um, credit to the writing style of Galliano. I thought it was very, um, a lot more pleasant than you would normally get in a story like this. I feel like, you know, a lot of these more history type of books, they're um, a little, pretty dry. But I feel like this was written in almost, I don't want to say like poetic, because that, that would definitely be overstating it. Um, but the prose that Galliano uses were were very nice, which is even more interesting because I think that that has to do with the fact that it is translated from Spanish. Um, so I'm sure that that has a decent amount to do with this. Um, but Galliano, he spent like over four years researching this book and then 90 days straight of writing it, um, which is, I mean, like might seem short, but I feel like in that, like, I think that that's like all he did for 90 days was write this book. Um, which is pretty remarkable. And so anyway, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it to people, especially if you're even somewhat interested in learning about the colonial history of Latin America and just kind of getting a better picture of why the countries in Latin America are where they are today. I think that this is a great book for that. And so definitely recommend it. Pick it up. If you guys disagreed with anything I said in this video or if I got something wrong, if I got one of the names wrong or one of the countries wrong, um, definitely correct me. Um, but other than that, um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day.